This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, BG is home, and he signed a cash money now. Gucci man, sorry, the million dollars wasn't enough. He's going to go home with family. Birdman shut down that Gucci man whole thing where Gucci man wanted to sign him for a million dollars back in December. When that fake video came out of BG coming out of jail, he jumped the gun. Birdman saw what was going on, made sure BG's account had a million dollars, and then when he came home, okay, so now he's with Birdman. The game is begging. Now, now that, you know, because the game has a connection to Birdman through WAC 100, right, a direct connection, because uh, WAC 100 and Birdman are in business for Blueface and a bunch of other stuff. So, he's begging for that BG-verse. <laughs> then we got... Uh, Nina Agdale. This is the girl that's engaged to uh, Logan Paul, and allegedly she slept with half of Hollywood, okay, according to Dylan Dennis. Now, she is taking Dylan Dennis to court because he trolls. He's supposed to fight Logan Paul, right? So he's trolling Logan Paul about his, you know, fiance, you know? He's probably going to make it so they never get married. I mean, this is all, you know, Logan Paul's losing his mind over this, you know, like he can't Logan Paul and Jake Paul have one thing. They have anger issues. They can't take it when they can't control something. They come off Logan, but don't, don't get me wrong. They both train. They both work very hard for what they have. Right. But they have anger issues. They want to control everything. They think they can control everything and they come off as try to come off as nice people in public, but they're really nasty people. Dylan Dana says, I didn't even put a ring on and she's already trying to F me for all my money. Nina Agdale will be called Karen Agdale till further notice. Uh, then he trolls. This is her lawyer. He says, this cloud girl sent details to DMZ. Shows her true character. He said, I'll provide more details when I can, but because this is a federal case, I cannot at this time. Uh, Nina Agdale has filed a massive lawsuit against me. She filed a restraining order and is seeking prison time to fight. Is in the fight is in jeopardy if I'm in jail. Uh, this is actually wild, but I won't stop. The system has to come and get me. Logan Paul is is done. <laughs> then uh, you know we'll see what happens with that. Now, if you don't know, Diddy announced that he's giving everybody their publishing back. Biggie, Mace, 112, everybody. He could have struck a huge deal for it, he says. Seven-figure deal. Maybe. You know, like, maybe. Like, a lot of artists, like, Loon, how many how many people were requesting Loon's catalog and Shine's catalog to be putting, you know, movies and stuff, you know? Not many, okay? The publishing isn't worth as much as it was 20 years ago, okay? Diddy already milked that cow, okay? He's made tons of money from this. He's in... Mark Curry highlights that this is... He's giving back something that's essentially worthless. He says you're giving publishing back. You're not giving masters back. They could sell their masters and, the, you know, the companies could try to generate revenue off of that. He's giving back publishing. Publishing that shouldn't even have been taken at the at this deal. Most deals back then, especially in the 90s and early 2000s, was it wasn't taking a piece of your publishing in the deal. You would get a lot more money for that. And most people hold off on that to get a hit record, then sell half their publishing to a company to get a you know to get an advance on it. This is what Mark Curry had to say. All right. We're gonna give everybody time to get in here. We're going to talk about this Puff Daddy giving the publishing back to the artists. See what we get going on right here. He gave the publishing back, huh? Mm -hmm. What y'all think about that? Wolf Gang, what's going on? We're here to talk about Puff Daddy giving the publishing back. Hawk Comedy, what's going on? Versatile, what's going on? New Blister, Philly Girl, what's going on? Wave at everybody. Yo, I know y'all got some questions about this Puff giving this publishing thing back. So come on, let's get to it. Y'all was waiting on you to speak. Yeah. Chinin, what up? Come on, let's talk. Puff Daddy gave the publishing back. Whoop-de-doo. What's it worth? 
What was it worth 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and what's it worth now? What did he give you back? I'm telling you, he gave me mine back a long time ago. I was the first person he called. He said, Mark, I want you to be the first person that know this. I'm giving all my artists back their publishing, which is equivalent to giving back your girlfriend after he done poked her in the booty and raped her and did everything that he got all of the worth out. It's like a spider went in and sucked all of the, the, the insides out of it and then give it back. That's disrespectful. I told him, why don't you just keep it and pay me? I don't want the publishing. I want the money. Come on, y'all think he doing a good thing because he give back some publishing? Come on, man. It's not worth anything. And then he he, he don't have the Ciroc or the Delion. And then he going to give a million dollars to Jackson State like he doing some, some humanitarian type thing. He just trying to do whatever he can to keep his name relevant so he can go for a new deal because he don't really have nothing that's making him no money right now. He's not even a billionaire no more. So let's talk. Let's talk. What y'all want to do? Y'all want to talk about it? Or y'all just want to read about it and let it seem like everybody like, oh, Puffy gives all his artists back their money. I mean, they publish it. So what? This shit ain't even worth like $400 a year. $300 a year. It's not worth nothing. You can't do nothing. Most of these songs that all of the artists have, ain't nobody gonna come back and license them for movies later on or shine bad boy for life or what kind of nigga slang banging the street. Nah, that's not like Bon Jovi. That's not like the police. You know what I mean? We talking about songs that publishing that got long legs. It ain't really no long leg publishing coming out of there except for the one he got with every breath, you, every step you take and all of that kind of stuff. Ain't nothing else valuable over the G-Dep. I mean, he, you know, give him his publishing back. But what's the value in it? If ain't nobody picking up these songs and listening to them right now, like on the radio, if they're not picking them up and listening to them right now, then it ain't nothing being generated on them. Like they just did 50 years of hip hop. So they went back and brought back Melly Mel. They brought back a whole bunch. They brought back Craig G. They brought back a whole bunch of old school artists, which in return gives them some publishing legs. Just when people say, who is that? And then want to go Google them and then maybe see what the songs that they used to do a long time ago. Now that might make them a couple of dollars, but come on, y'all. What y'all want to do? What's going on, Miss Scott? What's going on, Rick Reese? You know, I just said so many people just kept sending me this post about Puff giving back publishing. Man, that shit hurt. That's like giving back my girlfriend, but you done got four kids with her. Took my. That's a fact, man. We said this the other day, okay? Diddy's not a good person for this, okay? He's doing this for publicity to seem like a great guy. Give them their masters back, and then you're really <laughs> sacrificing something. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.